If you're running virtual machines in Proxmox, I have a serious question for you. What if I told you that you're probably leaving a massive amount of network performance on the table and you don't even know it? Well, today, we're going to uncover a hidden speed boost that could totally transform your entire setup. So let's just cut right to the chase. Is your Proxmox network secretly slowing you down? Because here's the thing, even if everything feels like it's running just fine, there could be this invisible traffic jam happening right inside your server. And look, this isn't just some theory I cooked up. This is a real story from a seasoned Proxmox user named Sugs, who after three whole years of running their setup had a light bulb moment. They realized they were missing out, big time. And their experience is what kicked off this whole deep dive, and it's a journey I think a lot of us can relate to. It really all boils down to what I like to call the set it and forget it problem. You know how it is. You get Proxmox installed, you set up that default VMBR0 bridge, connected to your physical network card, and you're done. It works, right? So you just move on. But that good enough configuration, it has a hidden cost. So where exactly is this bottleneck? Let's actually visualize how your data is moving. Because I promise you, once you see this, you can't unsee it. We're about to uncover an internal superhighway that you're probably not even using. This slide says it all. On the left, that's the default setup, the slow path. For two of your VMs to talk to each other, even if they're on the same machine, the data has to take this absolutely ridiculous round trip. It leaves the server, goes to your physical switch, probably up to your router, and then all the way back again. Now look at the right, the fast path. The traffic never, ever leaves the host. It's a straight shot, a direct, high-speed connection. And what that really means is, by keeping all that VM-to-VM -VM traffic inside the host, you completely skip all the latency from your physical network gear. You're not limited by your 1 gig or even 10 gig network card anymore. The communication is happening at the speed of your server's own internal hardware. So what does near memory speed actually translate to? We are talking about potential internal speeds of 10 gigabits per second, or honestly, even more. Your only limits at that point are your CPU and how fast your storage is. This is a huge performance leap, and it's just sitting there, waiting for you to unlock it with a simple software change. Okay, I know exactly what some of you are thinking right now. The experienced users are probably screaming, this sounds great, but it also sounds like a massive security hole. And you know what? You are absolutely right to be cautious. So let's just tackle that concern head on. Here's the elephant in the room. If we create this flat, wide open network inside Proxmox for all our VMs to talk, doesn't that just completely wreck the beautiful VLAN segmentation we've so carefully set up on our physical network? And the short answer is yes, it absolutely can. But, and this is a big but, it doesn't have to. So here's the crucial point. This is a trade-off, not a dead end. The risk, of course, is that you're bypassing the security rules your router and switch enforce. But the solution is actually pretty elegant. You just recreate those exact same rules inside Proxmox itself. You're basically just shifting the security job from your physical network gear to the Proxmox host. And Proxmox gives you two fantastic ways to pull this off. First, you've got the built-in Proxmox firewall. It's incredibly powerful and you can use it to create precise rules about which VMs can talk to each other. The second option, which is kind of the best of both worlds, is to make your new bridge VLAN aware. This lets you keep all your existing VLAN tags and segmentation while still getting that insane internal speed boost. All right, enough theory. You want the speed, you know how to keep it secure. So how do you actually do it? Let's walk through a super simple four-step blueprint to get you up and running. It's honestly way easier than you think. First up, step one. In the Proxmox UI, you'll create a new Linux bridge. We can call it VMBR3 for our example. Step two, for any VM that needs this speed boost, just add a second virtual network card and connect it to that new bridge. Then, step three, inside the VM, you give that new network card a static IP address on your new private network. And finally, Step four, you just start using those new internal IPs for all your heavy traffic, like backups or file transfers. That's it. Okay, stop for a second and listen up, because this is the most important detail, the one thing people always get wrong. On this new internal network interface you created inside your VMs, you must not set a gateway address. Leave it blank. This interface is only for talking to other VMs on the same Proxmox host. If you put a gateway, it's going to try to send internet traffic through it and everything will break. So you've done the work. It probably took you, what, 10, maybe 15 minutes? So what's the payoff? What do you actually get for setting up this dedicated internal performance lane? 
This is the stuff you'll actually notice day to day. It means your backup jobs to a Proxmox backup server are gonna finish way, way faster. It means your Plex or Jellyfin streams will be noticeably smoother with less buffering. Those huge file transfers or rsync jobs between VMs, they'll be done in a fraction of the time. And here's a cool bonus. Your physical network suddenly has less traffic on it, freeing up bandwidth for everything else. Now this whole technique is absolutely perfect for traffic on a single Proxmox server. But what if you have a multi-node cluster? Well, that's where you start looking at the next level, Proxmox's Software Defined Networking, or SDN. That lets you stretch these ideas across your entire cluster. But that's a whole other topic for another day. So we'll leave you with this final thought. Just because your Proxmox setup is working right now doesn't mean it couldn't be a whole lot better. Maybe it's time to pop the hood, take a closer look, and unlock that hidden performance lane that's been waiting there for you this whole time. Your setup works. But the real question is, could it be better?